Welcome everybody to Bedbug Central TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And today we're going to review a new product on the market, uh, which is called the Pactite Unit. And the intended use of this product is to heat treat suitcases after travel, other types of bags, or maybe even personal belongings that you feel might have an issue that you're not comfortable, say, putting in a dryer and whatnot. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to go get a Pactite Unit and we're going to take a close-up look at it. I'm going to talk about what the, you know, the intended use for it is, how to use it properly or how it's supposed to be used, and just give you a quick idea as to how I think it fits in to uh, treating different belongings and bed bug management plans. So uh, let's get started and take a look at the unit. So as you can see here, this is our pack tight unit. It's a black soft bag. And what we'll do is we'll jump right into it and open it up. So we unzip it. And what you can see here first is this metal rack. And what this is intended to do, it's intended to hold the lid of the bag up. Because remember, I said it's soft. And if this rack wasn't placed on top here on these two metal pieces, basically this lid would just collapse into the bag. So when the final thing you want to do when you're closing is make sure this is in place so that the lid doesn't come down on the contents that you're heating up. Nonetheless, what we'll do real quick is just take that out. And what you have down here is a black rack and what this is, is this is where you're going to put your belongings. You're going to take your suitcase and put it on that black rack and this is the electrical cord that's going to get plugged in. This white box down here is the heating element. Whenever you're putting anything in this unit, you want to make sure it's not in contact with that heating element. That heating element does get rel relatively hot and you don't want things in contact with it. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take our nice trusty laptop case here, put it in the unit, and when you put items in the unit, you want to make sure they're in the center of the unit, not touching any of the sides and not touching the lid. So as you can see, our laptop case is, is placed nice right in the center. We're going to take our metal rack I talked about before, and we're going to put it in place. And what you have are these two metal side racks. And what they do is when you get your unit, it's going to be collapsed. You're going to need to take those metal racks and push them up to the top, and they'll snap into place, which you'll see if you buy a unit. And then you're going to take this metal rack and put it on top of those side racks. So here we have the cord coming out by the zipper. What we're going to do is we're going to close the bag. We're going to zip it closed. And you're going to zip it all the way closed so that the electrical cord in the back corner is as snug as possible in that zipper. So you want to pull that zipper as tight up against it as you can. You have your cord here and you're going to take your cord, of course, and you're going to plug it in. And what's going to happen is, is the belongings inside the bag are going to start to heat up. And the temperatures inside are going to get somewhere up in about the 140 degree area, which is plenty enough to kill live bed bugs and their eggs. And you're going to hold that heat for about four hours. And what that's going to do, it's going to make sure that's sufficient time for the heat to penetrate all the belongings and kill any bed bugs or bed bug eggs. The one thing I can say for certain, and it's extremely important, is that you want to follow all directions that are come with the bag. Um, it's very important that you follow all the directions. The directions are there to make sure the unit works properly and that, you know, nothing goes wrong as far as bed bugs getting out of the bag or whatever the case may be. One thing I can point out, because some people might have some concerns about the cord coming out of the zipper like that, there is a metal object, we want to call it like a little bracket, that is on this cord, and that is a design, uh, design produced by the manufacturer that does not allow, they claim does not allow bed bugs to escape the unit. So that should address some of those concerns. And like I said, you're going to just go ahead and close this, plug it in, it's going to come on, you're going to hold that heat for about four hours. And that's going to address anything you have in there. And you want to follow the directions. I can't say this enough that the manufacturer provides with the unit because it will tell you what you can and cannot heat up and how long to hold it for. Well, that's the pack tight unit. I really do think it has a place in bed bug treatment. Um, it really can be useful for treating suitcases and other personal belongings. Um, again, as I've said already many times, and I'll say again, it is very important that you follow the manufacturer's instructions on how to use it properly. I can't state that enough. Um, so, thanks for tuning in, and uh, everybody knows jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com. Please email me any questions or comments you have, and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Talk to everybody soon.